opportunity um firstly the um i want to appreciate the team because um trust me the um the mock exam review was very very helpful it was very very helpful the mock exam like the mock exam i did i was not ready because um i was not done with the courses i remember that day that was when i was doing the um exam course itself i mean the day of the mock um exam was the day i was doing the step-by-step guide for the exam itself so wow. i moved from the step-by-step guide to the exam so that day i was like you are not done yet are you sure you should take this i was like let me just try it let me just do it see how, how it turns out to just know level of readiness so that day i knew i was already because i couldn't complete the mock exam but after that yes i went back to do it on my own complete the mock exam uh the step-by-step guide try the mock exam again and one thing was i um on the day of the exam because i did 8 a.m so that night all night i did um, C- um ctd practice question mm. and it was great to see like um the exam was still towards that kind of like structure too so i it's really helped me in taking the exam it really really helped me in taking the exam so the only issue i had during the exam was um network glitch that was the only issue light was still with routes but i had network issue i was out like two or three times and eventually fmi had to take me to zoom because i was having network issue so i was taking to they they took it to zoom these guys are really excellent so they took you out of the platform to zoom out of the platform to zoom with um one um um i had one official to monitor my exam too just same process share your screen Mm -hmm. um and you write your exam that was just it and um they gave me they still added to my time too they gave me extra time because of the network glitch yeah wonderful. they gave me wonderful. they gave me a few extra time because of the network glitch i completed it though my account was in balance okay and no i know it's majorly because of um i was not able to prepare well. i currently work here in lagos and you know it's not really easy to get time to practice and all of that mm-hmm, i took mm-hmm. three days to work from home just to practice for the exam but trust me, it was still full work for me. So I was not mm. really able to prepare it. And that was why I even had to force myself to do the all night and okay. get um, the exam done on um, this July. Because I don't want to, like you said, it's just good to just take it and wrap it up once, once and for okay. all and okay. more elongate it. So, so then so, so one, thing I'll just mm-hmm. say, one thing I'll just say is the um, step-by-step guide is like what anybody needs to pass the exam what yes. anybody needs to pass the exam yes, yes. but but think uh, okay go ahead mm-hmm. yeah, the in-depth course itself like someone complained that maybe add too much details i think i get the um direction i currently work as an investment banker and i know that it takes more than the step-by-step guide to be like a real life model that you need so like that exam was full detail one but that anybody that um is working in financial modeling space needs and can like use to like get you any kind of model he wants to build because if you read life scenario you took us through um their um what's it called their notes which are the things that you actually really need to do when you are building a real life model it's more than just a a three-page practice question that you have in your exam so i understand why um the course was in-depth and i really appreciate it because it has been helping me far beyond the exam in my career and i believe like i will still continue to like have more training with um um the brown i look forward to doing the psf training thank you once again okay. i really enjoyed it and i hope to pass even though my account didn't balance i was able to balance it afterwards though thank you <laughs> all right